In this video, I want to compare my £3,000 custom-built PC versus my £3,000 iMac. Not many people do a comparison where the, both of the machines cost the exact same price. Usually it's like a £1,500 PC and a £5,000 iMac. Here it's exactly the same so you can see exactly what £3,000 would get you if you got a Mac or if you got a PC. Now I'm no expert with this, I haven't been paid by anyone. I'm just doing this based on my own knowledge and based on the idea of video editing. So this isn't for gaming, this isn't for photos, this is for editing videos in Premiere Pro. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, hit that bell notification, and comment down below which is your favorite, Mac or PC. I know that might get some sort of, um, uh, it might have some bad results in the comments, but whatever. So I'm comparing my 2017 iMac um, with the 5K screen, versus um, a custom-built PC that was done in, I believe it was March 2018. And I'm going to go through all the specs of both of them so you can get an understanding of what specs they each have. Then I'm going to run some tests. Um, I'll do the Geekbench test on both of them. And then I'll do some real-world tests. Um, I'll do an export test on Premiere Pro with the exact same file with everything closed. So I've written the specs down because I don't know them all off by heart. But we'll start with the iMac. The iMac has an Intel Core i5 quad-core processor. Um, it has processor speed of 3.8 gigahertz, and it has eight gigabytes of RAM. However, I have upgraded the RAM to 64 gig, which is why this is a 3,000 pound machine rather than a 2,300 pound machine, because that cost me about 650 pounds. I know, ridiculous. It also has a two terabyte um, hard drive, so it's got the Fusion drive, which is some flash, some normal, um, usually they'll put the operating system and the programs on the SSD drive and everything else on the normal drive. It has an ATI Radeon Pro 580 graphics card with 8GB of memory. And in terms of ports, that doesn't really matter. But that's all I'm able to get from the Apple spec sheet. Um, it's also obviously got the 5K display, which my PC won't because it's just a box. Now, the PC, so that has... The processor is an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X 16 core CPU, 3.4 gigahertz. Um, it's got 32 gigabytes of Corsair, uh, uh, Corsair Vengeance DDR4 um, RAM, which is at 3, 000, it's clocked at 3,600. Um, it's got 8 gigabytes of NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti graphics card, and it's got a 4 terabyte normal. Um, hard drive and then a 256 gigabyte Samsung um, M.2 um, hard drive so it's like that's like flash but super fast and all the other stuff isn't really important um, so that's the specs of both of them let's have a look at the Geekbench score so that we can get an idea of how powerful these um, the cores are single core and multi core is the iMac scored a single core of um, 5,163 and the multi-core score was 15,264 on the um, PC the single um, core score core score was 4,702 so a bit less about 400 ish less than the Mac and the multi the multi-core score was 31,187 so m about double the Mac so in terms of single core, the Mac is actually better, it, it seems better, um, but the PC as a whole, because it's got more cores and because the multi-core score is so high, it's far more powerful. Now I'm going to give you my real world opinion on the two machines because I've used them both for a bit of time now for Premiere Pro. And one thing I'll notice is on the iMac, when you're editing 4K footage on Premiere Pro, it will be choppy. It, you won't be able to have smooth playback. And if you edit on Premiere Pro, you might know this, but when you're editing a video, especially in 4K, the talking and the and the action won't keep up. And not just it won't keep up, but what you're seeing on screen won't keep up with what you're hearing. It's so hard to edit, especially when you're doing fine cuts and fine transitions and, and, and little things and adding text to specific words. It is virtually impossible to edit. And if you can't edit, it takes ages. With the PC, it's not like that at all. The PC is completely and utterly smooth. 
editing the playback on the PC is is literally just like you're watching it as normal like you'd normally be watching it you can stop it cut it add text it's literally perfect so I guess to be honest this is going to be an opinion but it's it's also you're gonna to have to take my word for it on the sense that the PC is far far superior when it comes to editing video especially editing 4k footage um, but what I will do for you is I'll do the export test which is, is important, but it's not so important because I don't care so much about this. But I've exported on the PC and that got an export time of, um, let's have a look, I took a screenshot. The PC got an export time of six minutes and about 24 seconds, a bit, a bit less than that because I couldn't stop it in time. And the Mac got an export time of seven minutes, 49 seconds. So more than a minute longer, but the minute longer isn't what's important here. When I export on the iMac, even though it's meant to be very powerful, it's meant to be an amazing iMac, it's top of the range, whatever, it is virtually unusable when it's exporting. When it's exporting something like that, the fans make a noise, and if I want to use any other part of the computer, the internet, um, just browsing, um, just going, fi moving files, using any other part of the computer, everything is slow. Everything is slow, and it's, it's virtually impossible to use the other, like the rest of the computer when something's exporting, just because it takes about ten times longer to do anything. Whereas on the PC, not only does it export extremely fast, when it's exporting, it doesn't affect anything else on the PC. You can do whatever you want on the PC. You can start editing in Photoshop. You can start doing some After Effects. You can go to the internet and start browsing. You can move files around. You can do whatever you want, and it's not affected by the current running export. So I thought that was just, that was the biggest thing for me. At the moment what I do is I'll export on my PC and then I'll go back to using the Mac for the daily stuff and I try to only use the PC for Premiere Pro editing. Um, but th that's the that was the main thing for me, the exporting, um, not being able to use the computer was annoying and the main main thing was just being able to edit without it being choppy because the choppiness is just impossible to work with. So this is sort of why I bought the PC just because it's it's so superior and and you can really see that that got the PC has 16 cores compared to four cores and they cost the same price um, that does have 32 GB of RAM and that has 64 but to be honest you can't really notice the difference especially with video editing you don't need crazy amounts of RAM and the graphics card well the graphic card on that is, is far superior far superior and they both cost three thousand pounds now the conclusion the summary what do I prefer well, if I'm being completely honest, if it's just down to machine, I prefer the iMac. The operating system on the iMac is far superior than Windows 10. It is just so good, and usually it's so fast, and it's so in intuitive, it's so easy to use, and I absolutely love it. With the PC, um, I'm still getting the hang of Windows 10, I have to be honest, I'm still getting the hang of it, but just in terms of comparing the two, like very simple things, um, the iMac is just, just, just kills it on that but in terms of video editing and in terms of raw power and maybe photo editing and after effects the PC wins hands down so think about what you want and what you care about I'm keeping both because I love the use of the iMac it's just so easy to use and I just I, I, I'm used to iMac I'm used to Apple I've got the whole Apple ecosystem where I'm just using the PC to edit video photos and that sort of stuff like more design stuff and it's crazy to think like that because when when the whole Apple the whole Apple framework is that it's a designer's computer it's meant to be good for designers but actually it's not that good for designers the the MacBook Pro right the the MacBook Pro is actually oh the MacBook Pro is actually better than the iMac at um, video editing at Premiere Pro which is crazy to think because that's a laptop and this is a huge computer so that is my verdict. My verdict is I love both of them. Um, I like the PC far more for video editing and I like the iMac far more for just daily using, just doing daily things. Um, but yeah, that is, that is um, what I think. If you have any comment down below about the PC, where I got it built, how much did each component cost, anything like that, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about the iMac, leave a comment down below. And leave a comment down below which one you think you prefer after watching this video, the PC or the iMac.